I had one on here, a tip calculator app. The tip calculator app uh, oh. allows you to enter the bills of those dining with you, friends or family, and have it split the bill automatically. Um, I feel like that's just a calculator. I You can just multiply any number by point, you know, point percent, and you're, you're there. What's, yeah, is there any... That just sounds like a calculator. Or there's even tip. I'm sh I s I'm sure there's tip calculator apps. Because yes, thing, thousands. Which I, I don't. Know how is ours different? How are we? How are we disrupting the tip calculator industry? I, I mean, like. is there? Well, what if it's a social tip calculator? Yeah, that? like you're gonna split you're gonna split the bill with your friends, but then they also need accounts uh, to sort of log to sign into the bill. Do you know what I mean? I like yeah. So you let's I think that's a great scenario. We're with friends. We want to split that. We're so splitting the bill is this is a thing. Mm -hmm. And then how do you agree on the tip? And okay, okay, hold that's so. We're pulling people into the bill and we're turning the bill into a social experience. So maybe the people who who are contributing to that get to vote on what the tip percentage is. Or maybe there's like a sentiment analysis. Oh, I like that. You put your phone, you put your phone down on the table and you hit record and then you have a discussion about the meal. <laughs> <laughs> you have you have a discussion about the meal and how much it costs and what your general sort of experience is. Like maybe for the sort of the conversation leader, we can seed them with some questions like, so how did everyone enjoy their meal? What would you rate this meal out of 100? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it's like a guided set of questions. Yes. Yes. To, to, Again, I think going back to that social piece is we're facilitating discussions. We're bringing people into the bill. Yes. The bill, the bill typically is a very private occasion, right? Like you've decided that you're paying and it comes to you and you sort of flip up one corner. Like I'm, I'm the one who gets to know you guys don't get to know. Yeah. I think what we're proposing is we bring everybody into that discussion. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what we're what we're proposing. Pull them into that discussion. Have a discussion about. Pull them into that experience. Have a discussion. About have your food, a discussion uh, about the food you can talk. So it'd be like food, uh, service. Mm -hmm. uh, ambiance. Ambiance. Um. Etc. Etc. Yeah. Food service, ambiance. Um, I you could talk about things like music or cleanliness or speed. You know, maybe everybody just gets to make up their own meta tags, and then those people vote on which meta tags are relevant to well, the discussion. Good. So, say you took a survey, everybody takes the t the same ten question survey, and then you had a discussion about what three questions from that survey matter. Yeah, I like that. It's another layer. You know, it's a layer. It's a lot of clicks. Your, uh, coffee. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna want to order another. You're gonna want to order dessert. You're gonna want to schedule while. maybe like a coffee date with all the people that you want to have dinner with that night, just to get them up to speed. You know, in terms of what they can experience from the tipping. Yeah, from the tipping sure. calculator, and <laughs> make sure you're on the same page with certain. Uh, certain people, uh, certain people, certain like attributes, certain like dining philosophies, maybe dining philosophy. Tipping that's interesting. Principles, the tipping philosophies, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whatever that means. And all of this, what all of this contributes to is the tip calculator eventually spits out a number. That's a percentage and that's what you pay that's what you pay. So maybe it's 13%. Maybe it's 15.5. Maybe it's 20%. I can tell you it's never going to be because we want people to like our app. So we're not going to, you know, skew things too far in the other direction. Yeah. You can use our app to feel good about your decisions. 
he That's needs our app. Sure. I mean, there is probably like a 17, 18 year old, you know, 22 year old. Uh, 17 is probably way young um, to be serving in a host position, but you are going to have um, a wait staff person standing next to your table, just mortified, absolutely mortified at the discussion that you're having. Um, and maybe that's part of the experience too. We account for that in the UX process and that's why it's bulletproof. It's you like that process. line of bullshit. I just fed you. Uh, we, we haven't I was finished trying to find thinking you. about it. But... I, I, I was trying to find a, come up with an, an intelligent response to that, to make myself sound as smart as you. So yeah, I liked it. You might say I liked it. Maybe I hated you might say it. I liked maybe, it. Maybe I felt intimidated by it. I was a good. It was a good move for you. I it. I felt, I felt like it was slighted. a power play. Yeah, I felt it, and really I really just... did. I came into tonight saying, "What do I want out of this live stream tonight?" And I said, "I really want to slam dunk on my close old friend Ian Conrad. Yeah, I just really just... want to fucking get that guy. Come in from no. Come in out of nowhere." Totally uh, left field. I think we should one. do the tip calculator. We we have, uh, I don't know, after this episode, we probably have like six or seven more hours of filming to do. And I can tell you, I want to sink seven, eight hours into tip calculator. Absolutely. The fucking tip calculator. You know what I mean? The, the best. We'll think of a cool name. Not tippy. Oh, hold on. It Tip-a-pie. could be tippy. And he's not a paperclip. He's like one of those styrofoam boxes that you get leftovers in. Oh, yeah. Tippy. No. Okay. Hold on. It's it's Tippy. I bet there's literally a tip calculator app called Tippy. What if I what if we did the frog fractions of tip calculators? What's a frog fraction? Have you know, okay? Frog Fractions that, was a video game that new like math? looks. It's supposed to be like a kids game about math, like when you open it. Okay. Um. And then it it kind of goes from there. It just devolves into nonsense and keeps playing off like video game tropes. Like one minute you're like doing this Frog Fractions game that's for kids and then it just keeps getting weird and the numbers are falling apart and then all of a sudden you're playing Star Fox and then it's a text adventure and you're a lawyer frog and it goes and goes and goes and goes. So what if we made a tip calculator that was so intentionally complicated and fucked up that people wanted to use it? Mm -hmm. I like where you're going. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. That's definitely a good use of our time. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass through these other guys. I mean, these are great ideas. Put them in uh, in the The garbage bin. Yeah, the special bin for. Oh, there's a bot called Tippy. Tippy bot. Hold on, I have to mute for one second, okay? All right, I'll, I'll keep just, everybody just vamp. Can you can you fill twelve seconds? I'll I'll keep everybody entertained, um, talking about Tippy the Tip Calculator app. This will be fun. We'll have to uh, to do a little bit of research after this episode before next week. Get some people's, um, I guess, just kind of tipping, um, tipping thoughts, tipping concerns. Uh, I, I know tipping is a contentious topic now. Uh, a lot of people think that that should be done away with. I'm kind of on board with that. Of course, um, easier said than done. A lot of people would need to, we have to work the tipping into the the payments we want to get rid of tipping as a society anyway okay <laughs> i tend to be on board I've, with this is like yeah i've basically I've... been changing the world since you've been gone well i mean 
I uh, name one other job where you get tipped based on your like it's an agreed thing based on your reputation. Imagine if you finished a website and a client was like, "Well, oh, here's a thousand bucks for doing a good job," and stuffed it in your like cleavage or whatever. Mm, it's like, uh, great, great. Thanks for treating me like that. So, tip calculator wins, I think. Yeah. Do we have a crown emoji? There, yeah. Oh, man. Transparent images on Google Images. You know, when you look for like a silhouette or a cutout on Google Images and it's not actually Damn. cut out, they just put the... Yeah. Oh, you did it. You did do it. Come on. I never remember bring to front. Uh, bring to front is in, in Figma, it's command option square bracket. In um, in XD, it's control command square bracket. Um, the only reason I'm saying this because in Figma, if you do it the way that Adobe does it, it bounces you out to that home screen, and it's really strange. Oh, what is it? It must be like tab related. Um, yeah, it's um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's weird. Like that Figma though. You know how Figma be. Tip calc. All right. Well, do you want to call it there? You is that an E? It... Is that a wrap? Did we do a discovery session? We reviewed eight ideas, which is great because I thought we'd have like three. Yeah, we got a lot in there. Oh, a scepter. A scepter. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's a winner, winner. Yeah, I mean. I'll we'll we'll design it. It'll be that'll be good. There it is, folks. Well, thank you for attending uh, the this discovery session. It looks like we can give you a, a few minutes back of your day. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> we'll give you a, a few minutes back. I was underprepared for this meeting, but I'll give you a few minutes back of your day. I Take didn't need around. to call this meeting, and nobody talked at all. So um, thank you. Yeah, thanks. That was a learning experience for me. <laughs> no uh but yeah. ian's right uh thank you so much for watching um we get an idea we're about to spend the next three episodes designing it um so yeah send us in your tip calculator ideas you can get in touch with us at the hi there show at gmail.com that's the hi there show at gmail.com uh also check us out on twitter uh hi there tweets twitter.com slash hi there tweets you can also check me out at nick brunt you've got ian at porcelain duck like and subscribe i think what are the other ones yeah. hit all the things hit That's the positive it. affirmation buttons um yeah make us if you enjoyed uh, the show make us feel uh make us feel good by clicking those buttons yep uh need those need those endorphins otherwise we'll be back next week uh we'll be doing the ux and wireframing and all that fun stuff uh that's it that's a wrap see you next week See you next week.